the job that I'm in and the world that we live in nowadays with all the social media and instant gratification and photos being posted right away and people commenting. And I've tried my hardest not to read things, you know, because for every positive thing you read, you'll find two negatives. I've always wanted to kind of create maybe like an online space where very similar to this, it's like where teens can just talk to other teens, where you're sharing how you're feeling about things and someone else pipes in and goes, oh my gosh, me too. Like, what do you do to help with that? Or, wow, I didn't know that a guy could feel that way because I'm a girl and I thought it was only a girl's issue. Um, I think by creating online environments and spaces where people can just communicate and, you know, sometimes certain issues aren't easy to talk about. They're really awkward. Um, I know that I used to go to lunch with my mom and her friends and they would all ask me questions about my generation so that they could take that information, go back home to their kids and feel like they knew things. And I never had a problem of being that kind of go-between person because I really wanted to kind of communicate from my generation to my moms and bridge that gap. So if there's a way to do it online where you don't feel awkward because you're not looking the person face to face and asking these questions or spilling kind of your inner thoughts, but you know that you could get as genuine a reaction, I think that would be so positive because no longer would you take that lack of communication and, and kind of filter it into bullying someone that you don't know or that you do know and feel that you know you could have a power over them, you could actually voice your own opinions, deal with the insecurities, and not ever have to even think about putting them on someone else. I think if something can be made negative, it sure as heck can be made positive. I, I wouldn't put it past any of us to think of an idea.